Hello there, my name is Janie. Welcome to my child free life. Today I want to talk about my friend's reactions to me not wanting to have children. And it has changed throughout the past five years because I have changed job fields and now I have a brand new group of friends. Obviously I still have some of my older friends, but I want to talk about it, discuss, analyze, because for the most part the feedback has been good, I guess, but lately it's been a little weird. So let's talk about it. So if this is your first time here, I am married. I'm about to enter into my 30s. This is my last year in my 20s. And I just never wanted kids. I'm a huge animal lover. Kids just has never been something that I wanted. I used to find that I would try to convince myself, especially at work, that I want children because I used to work at a zoo and I'd be by a petting zoo and I would see all these kids and these moms and these strollers or these dads bringing their children. And I was like, yeah, like you're gonna want that eventually, right Janie? Like, like I was just trying to like talk myself into it at the time I was just engaged with my husband we had a very very long engagement but you know I wanted I wanted to want to have kids um, simply because that's just what is viewed as the norm for a lot of people a lot of families a lot of cultures my mom has always just assumed that well, I'm gonna have kids just like she did she had two of them me and my brother and that was that and she just apparently desperately wants grandkids so I would find myself trying to kind of convince myself that this is something I want that I, I was just nervous of the unknown but you're never fully ready to have children isn't that what they always say but the feeling never came and as I continued to get older I, I'm just like no I, I don't want them of course if that were ever to change then we're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it but I have never felt a desire an inkling baby fever none of that so in high school or even with my best friends from high school who have been big kid lovers and some of them have children of their own. Um, I, so with my friends from high school, specifically my closer ones, I've never had them ever doubt me or just say, oh, we'll see, you're going to change your mind or really anything like that. They have been, for the most part, very much supportive and just kind of like, yeah, I get it. Like, I understand where you're coming from, um, which I really, really appreciate it because that's nice to hear. Obviously, I don't need my friend's validation, but it's nice to hear that someone understands where you're coming from or that although they might not be on the same path as you they understand that you should have your own choices in your own life because you're the one who's going to be dealing with any consequences to having children whether they're negative or positive like you're the one who's going to be dealing with it you know so sometimes when people give their opinions it's kind of weird because it's like you're not going to be the one taking care of this child so that was in high school and then when i got to the zoo i was kind of the oldest one of the oldest so and this was like back in 2017 2018 so i mean it wasn't the oldest i guess it depends on which department because i used to be in admissions and then i was in the animal field um but that was something that no one really cared about no one was thinking about having kids anyway we were, we were working in the peak summertime so everyone's just having fun so me saying i didn't want kids didn't really phase anyone no one, everyone's like okay cool like we're just living lives most of us at that point were in our mid-20s um either early or mid-20s and then recently i was at work in the break room with some of my good friends and someone, I, I think I was talking about my husband getting snipped or, or how that's in the cards, like we're, we're, we're researching, we're, we're thinking about it, that is just something that seems like a viable option for us, even though I have seen a lot of videos on Instagram of people who get it and then end up pregnant anyway, which is very scary, like the thought of pregnancy freaks me out and every time I, it's the time of the month, I get really happy that I am in fact not pregnant, so... I was telling my friends, you know, oh, like, I'm thinking of him getting snipped. And then my friend, who's a guy, was like, what did he say? He's like, oh, okay, well, those are reversible. And I was like, yeah, but I, I would want it not to be. Obviously, like, if, if we're going through that pain, it's because we're pretty darn sure that we don't want children. And he's like, oh, well, you never know. And it's the way he said it. And I'm honestly surprised coming from him, coming from, like, a marginalized group of people, I would have thought that maybe he would understand it better because not everyone has kids especially being a part of the lgbtq plus community i'm a part of that community too i came out when i was oh, i don't know 21 in 2015 i don't remember i can't do math but it felt weird coming from him like I, I would expect that from someone else someone else but nonetheless he said that and in the moment i just was like whatever like i'm not gonna have to like it's very condescending I feel like when people say things like that and I I I'm obviously not gonna hold it against them and like we're fine we're, we're still good friends like I'm not gonna end the friendship because of that but it made me think of him differently in that moment because I thought you would understand and yes 
hypothetically I could change my mind but that's not the point the point is I'm looking for something that's gonna relieve the anxiety that I have every month with the thought of having kids and yes I could get my tubes tied and maybe I will maybe that's something that I'm going to be researching further down the line but if my husband is willing to get this procedure done to prevent kids or the likelihood of kids or at least lessen lessen the the fear and the paranoia that I'm going to feel then I am obviously all for it if he's for it because if i'm being honest with you i take birth control pills i've talked about it i've done videos about it but i still get anxiety like that time of the month gives me anxiety especially because lately my period hasn't landed on the same exact day and i recently had a pregnancy scare which i talked about in a vlog where i ran out and whatever i have changed my settings on the pill club which by the way is no longer fiverr i mean not fiverr <laughs> what did i just say the pill club is no longer favor now it's back to the pill club and i had just done a video talking about it as favor because I was like oh like people you know like a lot of people didn't realize the change or that they're the same company and now they're back to the pill club anyway so I did all that for nothing but I finally changed my settings so that it'll just auto renewal and I that way I can get my pills sent without any interruptions to my service to my cycle blah 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 one of my eyes is shinier than the other so let me fix that through I really I really go through that fear um often because you know like if i could avoid pregnancy i want to avoid it rather than get pregnant and then have to deal with three choices that are inevitably gonna leave some mark on me anyway nonetheless that's pretty much the only negative experience aside from my parents which i've already talked about to this day my parents still you know tell me that they're waiting for grandkids and stuff like that sometimes my mom in moments of frustration will be like you know what Janie, you're right for not wanting kids and i think that's just because me and my brother are a handful like we are a total handful mostly my brother i'm sorry uh, if you're watching this but at the end of the day you know we're in our mid to late we're in our mid are we in my brother's in his mid 30s i'm in my late 20s like we're a handful even at this age like your responsibility to these kids i feel like does not end when you're 18. maybe some parents have that mentality where it's like all right you're 18 pack it up like time for you to you know move on your own and i think which i think is interesting but my parents have never been like that my parents have always been like stay stay longer stay forever um you know which has its own set of challenges and frustrations but i know my parents go through a lot dealing with my brother and I because neither one of us are in like I don't know neither one of us are like millionaires living the dream you know we're in New York City one of the most expensive cities in the world and are we thriving I don't know I'm happy but my life choices have definitely affected where I'm at today with my job with my living situation you know it happens that life happens you know I want to have more child free friends like people who for right now at least know and feel that they do not want children because I don't really have that I have some friends in my life who are just like yeah probably not gonna have kids but a lot of people say that and then they do end up with kids you know which is funny because I'm sure that's what people say about me but anyone who knows me knows that I just don't do well with kids I try I'm obviously gonna be very polite to them I have babysitted many times before kids of various ages and I'm not even sure what age I prefer when it comes to children um because sometimes I like that babies don't talk <laughs> because sometimes I have a hard time holding a conversation with like I don't know like early elementary school kids I don't know why but I just do so I want more friends that kind of are feeling the same I do find that on social media but I don't actually know these people and it's been nice like I don't use TikTok but I do have the app because once upon a time I was trying to use it and build up an audience there um but there's a lot of child-free people there and it's so nice to not feel alone like it is so nice to see people and know that we are on the same page and that we agree and some of them have amazing points like some of them are very articulate in like, describing why they do not want children in a way that I never seem able to and I really really enjoy it I enjoy the discussions there I think it is super eye-opening and it feels good to not be alone because I know obviously I'm not alone but sometimes when you're just surrounded by kid loving people it feels really isolating it feels really lonely so yeah that is how my friends have reacted so far um for the most part I think people just sometimes make jokes like they'll be like oh but you'd be such a great mom those don't really bother me because I know they're being funny and silly and all that stuff. I don't think I'll be a great mom, I'm not going to lie. I do not think I have the patience to have kids. I don't, I don't think I have good patience or 
like my delivery on certain things i think i could be a little cold but we've talked about that we've talked about my coldness before i just put that that's i put that on as if that was blush but it's actually highlight my bad I don't even know how to do my own makeup. So I'm currently working on a video with my husband to see if we can get him on camera just for one video to share his own thoughts being child free by choice as a man in this community. But um, I don't know what to talk about. So if you have any questions or topics you want us to discuss, then leave that in the comments down below so that we can answer them in the next video. I mean, it actually probably won't be next video, <laughs> but sometime soon there's an airplane flying by. The makeup is done. And now I'm going to film a bunch of videos for my other channels. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know how you feel about kids down below, whether you love them or hate them. Like I, how do I say this? I am always, as much as I do not like children or don't like the thought of having children, I definitely watch a lot of children content and not the exploitative like family vlogger aspect, but more so like school curriculums, like homeschooling. I like there's like gentle parenting and all these different avenues on where you can take parenting with your children and what methods work and what doesn't and stuff like that. And like, I, I find that really fascinating. So I do watch a lot of content. So if you do love kids and you do want kids, feel free to leave a comment down below because I do consume that kind of content anyway. I just don't want a kid of my own that I'm going to be with 24-7 for the next 18 years, if not longer. Anyway, until next time, bye.